Good morning, YouTube family. My name is Imani and you're watching Faith by Design. Today we will be going over my, a little quick budget, I guess, with me. Not really a budget with me, but we'll just be briefly going over that and I'll be doing some cash stuffing as well as, yeah, just chit-chatting with you all. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, stick around and we'll be right back. <music> First of all, happy Father's Day to all of the fathers out there. I hope everyone has a great time spending time with their loved ones. Later on, we're going out to eat um, with my husband and his family. So we'll be celebrating Father's Day then. So I wanted to make a quick video just to check in with you all since it's the start of a new week and we are at week five for BCL. Thank you all so much for all of those who have recently subscribed to my videos. Thank you all so much who have returned to my videos and keep coming back. Today we will be doing a budget, a mini budget overview, basically not a budget with me, as well as a mini cash stuffing. Um, before we get started though, I wanted to give a shout out to week five BCLers, BCL ladies. Um, so far it's always it's been ladies, so I think we do have a few gentlemen, so at some point I'll stop saying ladies, but this week it is Kim the Budget Slayer, Row Budgets, Me, Faith by Design, and Simply Angie. Yes, I remember them all without having to write it down. So please go check everyone out this week if you can. Um, I'm still getting to know Kim the Budget Slayer. I just recently subscribed to her channel, so I will be definitely checking her out. I did subscribe to Real Budgets a while back. I think I caught a tutorial um, when I first subscribed where she was showing us how to, she made a few things, um, tutorials. So I think it was like cash envelopes maybe, or budget trackers. So she is very talented. So please check her out as well. And then Simply Angie, I've been to subscribe for her, to her for a while. And so she has a lot of energy. She enjoys cash stuffings. And yeah, she's just a fun person overall. So go check them out, everyone, if you can this week and support us. We really appreciate it. I have gotten so much support already. So it's just been, again, it's been overwhelming just to say the least. So thank you again, Budgeting April, for starting this because I, I promise you I would not have been here without you and the support of all the ladies here. So, and gentlemen. So let's get started in this budget with me. Hope everyone is doing great today and everyone will have a wonderful time spending time with their families. We are going out to dinner and so I wanted to get on here and make this video before, I mean, we will be going out to dinner a lot later, but I wanted to get on here and make this video so that way, yeah, we can start the rest of our day. The house is pretty quiet, so I'm trying to, I always seem to be trying to like speed through things so that way I can get done and before everyone wakes up or before someone comes to me with something. So I apologize, I'm not as chit chatty as I would like to, but so, okay. We have the starting balance or not really the starting balance. I heard Budget April say that <laughs> in one of her videos. But we have my income for this week, which is June 17th, $2,775. I think that also includes a cash app from my daughter. She gave me some money back that she owed me. So that was great. Um, and yeah, we did all of the bills and everything. I don't really wanna go through a lot of that just because, you know, who likes to go over bills all the time? Let's do more so a overview. So. I like to leave a buffer in my account, which is a $43.68. Now, even though I leave a buffer in my account, when I put the expenses into every dollar or the bills into every dollar, it is a category that says buffer. And so I track it that way. And then I have a zero based budget. But for some reason, I think psychologically, I like to see money left over in my account because I don't know if I mentioned this. I did mention this like a few videos back about how 
my account used to be overdrawn back, you know, when I was not so great with money. And so I do like to leave something in there. I don't like it to say zero. So I think it's more so a mental thing, but I do account for it as a category when I actually put it in every dollar, if that makes sense, because you have to. If you don't, then it's just gonna make everything a lot more difficult to keep track of. So that's why I do that way, just in case anyone was wondering. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so the sinking funds that we will be stuffing this week or for the next two weeks will be savings, birthday, Christmas, and gifts. Everything else I usually budget for, or I usually take out cash for eating out and for um, fuel, but I don't really want to do that this time around, just for other reasons, just because I don't wanna have a lot of cash um, in my wallet. And so I will just be doing my sinking funds and then I will take the birthday envelope with me, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll take the birthday envelope with me as I shop for things because my daughter's birthday is actually on Saturday. My youngest daughter, she'll be turning six. And so I, I still have a few things to get for her birthday. She's having a small birthday party. So I will be taking that to pay for in cash and that way I can keep track of my birthday spending. And then anything else that's left over, I'll probably just leave there because my oldest daughter, who you saw in the last video with her budget with me, she is turning 19. So I'll probably just leave it in there. So let's go ahead and get started into the bills, the cash stuffing. Oh, I do want to mention that for my student loan, AES, it went up this month actually because I'm on the graduated repayment plan. Yeah, 368, that's a lot of money a month to be dishing out to student loans and this is actually a private student loan it's not a federal student loan so there we go with that i have to make those payments but the good part about it is that my employer recently started a i guess it's an not an incentive they basically started like a benefit where they work with a third party that will pay your student their employer their employee student loans each month up to ten thousand dollars per year which is great, yes. So this month they will be paying $100 to the student loans. So I have to pay my portion and then they pay their $100. And so altogether 468 will be going to my student loans. So that basically will cover interest and hopefully we'll start to see a little bit of progress in that area. I've not done a debt confession video, including my student loans because I just don't wanna think about it as well as my mortgage our mortgage as well as our car payment. I don't even worry about that part. So yeah, maybe in a future video, I will include those items, but right now I wanna focus on the phase one basically of, or the high priority debts that we have. So there's that. Let's get into this cash stuffing after. So I believe I have 440, let's count. And to those who've watched my previous cash stuffing videos, I don't really do a lot of cash stuffing. So just know that I'm getting better. Okay, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40. So yeah, we have $440, all 20s, thankfully. So this will go really quick. Um, okay, so let's go over these categories. I do wanna eventually get some new, I'm trying to, I don't know why I did that. I'm just trying to move everything down, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so eventually I want to get um, some new envelopes and new binders. My daughters, all three of them are going to be hopefully starting a binder. I know my youngest is definitely, I'm starting a kid's binder for her. And then my oldest daughter, who you saw in the last video, Leilani, she will be doing probably just two or three sinking funds. I would like to get her started in this area, but she does prefer to do everything online. She does have a checking account. She has one savings account. And so I want her to be able to keep track of different categories within that one account. So I do think we will do like some mini binders or folders. So that way she can have at least a few categories that she's tracking her savings because savings is very important. So I'm trying to get her more 
into understanding the amount of savings she will need as well as the category she will need. I'm trying to get her to think more long term. So, you know, we're all new. Well, I mean, I've been doing this now for a few years as far as budgeting and stuff and getting more in control of my finances. But with her, she she has used the Every Dollar app in the past. I don't really think she is pretty much writing it down like as far as a habit is concerned like she's not in the habit of doing that so I want her to start doing that more so she can see everything and then that way she'll also see the benefit of tracking her savings and seeing it grow and then I think she'll get more excited to save so that's where we're at with her and then my other daughter she will be making an appearance soon so we will hold out on her um explaining what she's going through. And then my youngest daughter as well will be making a separate video. So now I'm rambling a lot. <laughs> but anyway, let's let's go ahead and get started. So savings. This is the 100 envelope savings challenge that I am doing with my, or for the purpose of saving for a car for my oldest daughter, Leilani. So she will be contributing to this as well. And so, so far, let's go ahead and count what's in here. Now, I've been watching a lot of cash up videos, so I think I've gotten a little better. Let's see. I hope I don't drink myself, jinx myself. 1,000, 1, 2, 250, 270, 271, 273. So $1,273. Okay, and that's right. Don't you love these little placeholders? So excited. Okay. I can't wait to get more. I'm going to be going to a few Etsy shops and visiting more so that I can just write everything down because I see so much stuff that I like and I just can't get it all but in time okay dad is not getting anything because I, I pay everything online for emergency this is our baby emergency fund I've already completed one 26 week savings challenges it was from Jordan budgets and then I'm starting a new one and this placeholder is from Sons and Roses as well okay so let's see I think let me just make sure Yes, it's supposed to have 1,260. 1,000, 100, 200, 20, 40, 50, 55, 60. Okay, so I think I am supposed to be stuffing $40 to gifts. No, not gifts. I'm supposed to be stuffing $40 to savings. So let me add two 20s. And we should have 1,000, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 300. Let's make a note. I'm going to say 19. Okay. One day I'll get the whole system, you know, where you put your pen down, you put your money down, you put it in the envelope flawlessly, you count it. It's just, you know, it's a work in progress. Birthdays, she'll shall be getting $280. And this will cover my all the expenses for my daughter's birthday, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80. 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80 uh-oh. 2, 20, 40, 60, 80. So birthdays will be getting 280, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80. Yes, and I also have another 100 in here, but actually this shouldn't be in here because I used the $100 to pay for the venue, the outdoor pavilion, basically. So I'll have to remember to put this back into my account once I pay it online. Household is getting nothing. Self-care, I'll probably fund that the next time because I definitely need to. Clothing is not getting anything this go round. Gifts are getting $40. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, Vacation, not getting anything this go round. I need to make trackers for all these two. Shopping, shopping. I need to make, yeah, shopping and clothing. I kind of like 
interchange, but utilities. One day I would like to start funding this account, especially for my uh, electricity bill, which, yeah. Food, nothing. Miscellaneous, I have these gift cards that I need to use. This one was for, I believe, Christmas. My husband gave me a gift card to a massage. And as you can see, 1221. So I need to make sure I do that. That's part of my, I'm gonna put this in the self-care. Let's do that. And this was for my daughter. This is a $5 gift card, I believe from Christmas. Let me go ahead and move this before I never use them. Okay, so self-care, we're going to book the appointment for this because, yeah, I could have gotten a massage by now. What was I thinking? Okay, and um, we'll put this in here as a gift. And so we can make sure we use that for her because every time, I'll probably end up putting that in her when I make her kids binder because every time we go to the store she wants something she's on the couch over there i don't know if she hears me if she can hear me but every time we go into the store she's like mommy can i have this can i have that so that'll be good for her so i think we're done here why do i have oh because i took out 500 but i only stuffed 440 because i already gave my lawn care guy the 60 dollars. so we have 20 40, 60, 80 left. Is that right? Oh, Christmas. That's right. Christmas will be getting, I'll be right back because the Christmas binder is not here. The Christmas binder, this is senior year, which has, I made this little tracker. 50, 70, 75. She'll be taking senior pictures actually in early August. So we'll probably fund that next time. Christmas is going to be getting $20. 20, 40, 45, 50. Yeah, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70. I need to make trackers, guys. I'm just, I don't know what to do with myself. School is going, back to school will be getting something the next go round. And these are just envelopes that I ended up not using. I'll probably try to, I don't know, get this off so I can make these something. And then I have $60 left. These will go into my grocery um, everyday folder that I have in my wallet because I've already spent money on groceries, and so I'm gonna use, and that was with my debit card, so I'm gonna use some cash. So yeah, that's what that will be, and I'll do that off camera, because I, I think I've kept y'all long enough. This is my longest video, and when I edit it out, hopefully it won't be as long. But since most of my videos are not long, that may be a good thing. So thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for everyone who has recently subscribed to my channel again, and those who keep coming back cheering me on, commenting, encouraging me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it so, so much. You all have a blessed Father's Day, a Juneteenth as well. And I will see you in my next video. Be safe, blessings, and I'll see you then in my next video. Thank you.